This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. And we're getting a sneak peek at Carnival Cruise Line's Celebration Key, set to open next summer on Grand Bahama Island, right there close to Freeport. The destination is already starting to take shape with major construction progress on key attractions, like the water slide tower, as you see here, already up. And the beachfront areas are being transformed for those cabanas, and the pier is starting to take form as well. The multi-million dollar port opens next July. And Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings has secured a 10-year deal with the Port of Galveston to exp expand rather its cruise operations in Texas. Now, the agreement includes seasonal sailings of the Norwegian Prima and Norwegian Viva from a brand new $156 million terminal opening next November. The expansion is expected to boost passenger numbers over 2 million by 2026. The agreement will be officially signed later today at the Galveston Economic Development Summit. And cruise lines are stepping up to support hurricane relief efforts after hurricanes Milton and Helene caused significant damage across the southeast. Now, Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings has pledged $80,000 to the American Red Cross, including a $50,000 donation match to aid communities hit by the storms. And last week, it was announced that Carnival Cruise Line President Christine Duffy will raise $75,000 through a skydive over Tampa Bay on October 19th. Those funds will be matched by the Mickey and Madeline Arison Family Foundation for all of Carnival Cruise Line's contributions. And Cruise Line stocks were up again on Tuesday. Carnival Corporation up 6.6%, 21.55. Royal Caribbean breaking another record, over $200, 202.42, up 3%. NCL up 4%, 94.30, and Viking up 2%, 38.50. Lead on a story, let us know. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Wednesday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.